Well, hey there, YouTube. Uh, I just want to put up another brief video. As uh, it appears, um, I suffer from severe, severe chronic back illnesses, and uh, my back is now out uh, because I, you know, I have to take care of my child on top of trying to get this information out to you, whether it be uh, what's going on with the sun and uh, space weather and earth weather, uh, environmental issues to Fukushima to uh, now what's going on with Tyler Comstock and yes, uh, what is currently going on with the YouTube situation. I am behind uh, all the truthers. Let's find another venue in which we can gather and uh, you know we'll be better off without YouTube. Let those uh, people who want to tune into the world's funniest pet tricks uh, continue to go to YouTube and let their advertisers have a smaller audience and uh, you know that could be the result of that um, I would advise everybody though uh, to back up their videos and delete all their content before they delete their channels okay delete all your content or back it up then delete all your content and information personal information email anything you have attached to Google Plus uh, uh, Google Hangouts, uh, things of that nature, all your friends, make sure you delete all that before you remove the account. That will ensure that they can't cache all that stuff because they don't know what you're doing. Now, if you shut down your account and just try to end the account, they will save all that stuff. They'll still have your videos and uh, all your personal information, but if you uh, go ahead and delete all your personal information then take down the channel and then reopen it of course on an another venue uh, when we find one that's appropriate and uh, we can go from there uh, but make sure you do have another venue we're not trying to shut down the free speech here we want to make sure the free speech is flowing as it should now with that being addressed with the YouTube situation and uh, the Google Hangouts uh, I also want to touch on again Tyler Comstock. I'm not writing this into the ground. This is not going away as much as they want to close the case on this. And uh, you probably won't hear anything from me for a few days, you know, uh, bar that there's a uh, kill shot coming from the sun or ice and impacting Venus or something. You know, I don't know. I do weird stuff. Uh, you know, despite the apocalypse, you probably won't hear anything from me until probably Monday as I need to recover. Uh, but I want to leave you with this thought, pussies go against the public. Only pussies harass the public. And Mr. Terry Brandstad, if you're going to condone the actions of your current law enforcement and their SOPs, their standard operating procedures, when it comes to law enforcement, you're a pussy. Sorry. Only pussies go against the public and the people. Okay? In a violent manner. That means those shooters that go in and want to shoot up the public inside of theaters. I don't care what the false flag was behind that. You're pussy. Okay? You are a pussy. Only the pussies go against the public. That's why we have military men that go to the theater of war against other militaries and when they're engaging in war they try to avoid the people minimize the casualties and they do that during war so what's going on here in our United States we got a bunch of pussies that want to harass the people kill the people it's shown it they want to take your life the people's life so, and only a pussy will do that. You know, they want to investigate me and record my phone calls, which they have been doing. You know, I can't even make it out of, the, out of my house. I'm no threat to anybody. You know, I'm no threat to anybody. You guys are a threat to each other. And that's the only reason why I think we as the people still bother, because we're trying to keep our current form of government. But... Looks like you guys are up there, Terry Brands, that are pretty much taking care of it. And let's question you and your relationship to China and them coming after our farm fields and you just get handing it over to them and putting the Iowans in bondage, these poor farmers, to China. 
because you know that America is m mortgaged. What do you think bonds are? It's putting people in bondage. But again, I just can't get over. Only pe pussies go against the people. So in this situation, and you want to investigate the people that are responding to what law enforcement had done to this poor kid, why don't you take that same energy and, and, and investigate the, uh, go ahead and investigate the cops instead of the people, okay? And you may not like what you see when you get there, Hello. but you're going to have to peer through that thick blue veil real deep to get to the bottom of what happened there at ISU. Let's see, Terry Branstead, if you're man enough not to go against the people. We're not the threat. Those out-of-control police officers are the threat. You know, was this officer on any type of uh, psychotropic drugs, like you know, uh, medication for for uh, depression? See you next time on Independent. Is that being investigated? And would that interfere with his ability to make the right decisions on the scene like that? You seem to bring that up to question every time one of these shooters goes into one of your places. Well, let's bring that up uh, that question too. That guy doesn't deserve any medical privacy, does he? <laughs> Not according to you guys. But like I said, man, only pussies go against the public. So if you're an, uh, a person out there that wants to go crazy and then kill yourself, please leave us people alone. You know, leave our shopping malls and our, our theaters and our churches and, and our schools and, you know, our places of rest. You know, leave us alone because you're a pussy. You would be a pussy. And any thug that thinks that they have the right to do what they want to do to the people because they hide behind a badge, you're a pussy. You go against disabled people. You know, why don't you pick on somebody my size? You know? I mean, this is, this is totally not right. So, yeah, I'm going on to eight minutes because I'm, I'm not putting up any more videos unless I have a very, very, very good reason. You know, the, the, the sun needs watching with all these solar storms, etc. You know, there's there's a lot of information that should be going out to the public on a regular basis uh, that is not. That, of course, is avoided by the lame stream because they only get a half an hour of your time, right? And then the rest have got to go to their advertisers. And, uh, and, and and it's a shame that, you know, it has to come to this YouTube. You know, the, I drove my body into the ground trying to get all this information out to you in the last three days. So, uh, yeah, I'm putting literally my life on the line. So, uh, and, and I know I'm being investigated now by the governor's office and the state capitol police and the Ames Police Department and a few other people because of my comments on this matter but trust you guys i'm not a violent person i have no other intent i'm not making any threats out there you know uh so whatever you might hear don't believe it uh i am depressed so i am on medication yeah i take medication take one yeah i take one of those one of those happy pills <laughs> uh but under strict doctor's guidance and i do take my meds so <laughs> Uh, so it's not all this uh, extreme one-sidedness over here on my page. Uh, if you need it, take it. If you don't, don't take it. But don't let somebody talk you into taking it because you uh, only have a few problems. Because that could cause you more problems. You just better think hard before you decide to start taking medicine like that. So, And I did. They, it took them three years to talk me into to, uh, using one. So uh, and it's working actually not too bad for me. Uh, believe it or not, uh, when you come to see my site. But anyway, guys, I hope this finds you good, and I hope this keeps you good through the weekend. And uh, stay safe. And uh, I don't know how you guys are going to stay. I know you can stay tuned without YouTube, guys. You know, just take some time out for yourselves and keep data mining on the official sites. 
you know, and share that knowledge that you have with your community members. Don't be so be worried about telling people on YouTube, you know, for a bigger audience. Yeah, it has a bigger effect when you when you get tired of saying the same things over and over again. You want to have the maximum effect. And YouTube understands that. That's why you see this going on with these restrictions. So, uh, you know, that's the rest of my rant uh, for the day. You know, uh, we'll, we'll find a way, folks. We always have. You know, and let Jesus uh, be close to you most of all uh, through these troubling times. You know, he always provides a way through. He's always close to our hearts. His Holy Spirit is there as the comforter. And I just pray right now in the name of Jesus that that comforter is there for Tyler Comstock and the Comstock family and relations. I also pray for the uh, poor man, the officer who shot uh, that shot him. Lord, I know it's hard for me to pray for him, uh, but he needs you as well. You know, Lord Jesus, please. You know, you need to be in the midst of this whole situation for all involved. For Mr. Com Tutstock and Mr. McPherson and all the family, all the other officers. And I pray for the officials, Lord, that you have the hand on the king's heart and you'll turn it any which way you wish, Lord. And I claim that. And again, send your comforting Holy Spirit to the family, the Comstock family and friends. May you use this to your glory. Amen.